have seen part one of our show with some of our top comic stars. Well, now here's part two. They were so good that we just thought we can't let them get away with just 20 minutes of airtime. They deserve a lot more, especially because the laughs are yet to come, right? Oh. So here they are back with us. Uh, Radhika Vaz, Amit Tandran and Neville Shah. Thanks all so much for staying on those extra 20 minutes, especially when we're not throwing any money your way. So I know that your, your time is your money. But thanks all so much for doing this. You know, we, would, we ended the last uh, show where we spoke about uh, how easily we are offended. Now, I just want to talk a bit about the roast when it happened, the extreme reactions that we saw. It was also something that was rather unique to us here in India. And many people weren't aware of what the concept is. So I, I think that, that was step one. But we saw extreme reactions. It wasn't just people saying, hey, it didn't work for me, I didn't like it, or I wouldn't watch it again. It was people saying, ban it, stop it, how could they, I'm embarrassed, I'm humiliated, what did they say about India, et cetera, et cetera. For you as a comic, for those, how did, how, those, how did you sort of perceive those reactions? What did they tell you about the space that you operate in, about us Indians not having a sense of humor, having one? How did you see it? I just think we have a sense of humor, but it's very restricted to, so long as I'm making fun of him. Yeah. And he's okay so long as they're making fun of me. Mm. The moment you, you turn the spotlight on me and what I do, it becomes an issue. Mm. Now, the funny thing about the AIB roast mm. is that they made fun of four or five people who had agreed to have fun made mm. of them. Exactly. Yet, there was such a backlash. Mm. But if you look a little bit more closely, because I did a show for yes, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. You know, there were specific, uh, you know, there were religious uh, jokes that they had yeah. made, which became yeah. a big thing. Yeah. And then... Uh, I think Amir Khan's one of the guys who yes. went on there and, yes. you know, it's yes. a very violent show yeah. and everything. And, you know, I can still understand a priest or whatever being upset, but when our own community of performers and, you know, mm. entertainment people were mm. out there uh, talking trash about it, uh, that actually offended me. Mm. You know, I just think that if we don't stick up for each other, who mm. is going to? Which is actually going to be my, uh, I'm going to be, get me to another point, which is yeah. that the reaction that it got, not everyone was okay in coming out and say I support them. But I'll get into that a little yeah. later. I'll get no. into the reactions from the community a little later. Uh, the same I'll question to you. I'll give you Amla. an example yeah. of yeah. what happened after that. You know, it showed, you know, for me, I could see the hypoc hypocrisy mm. everywhere mm. in this because I went to a show, uh, f to do a show in Kanpur, okay? Mm. 50 year old women who've seen that video, mm. clearly they enjoyed the video, but they said it should not be there. They said they liked it, mm. but they still didn't say it, it. They shouldn't make something like this. It's like, like eating the ice cream and then being like, they shouldn't make ice cream. So you know this society, the way it programs you, know, you is that you are not supposed to yeah, like you're sort this. Of some expectation that Even you cannot you like it, enjoy it or you cannot exactly. appreciate it. Exactly. Yeah, you should not. It's yeah. not good to do it. You know, like how we have these yeah. things. It's not right to do it. Yeah. There's not, not enough thought to it, perhaps. Yeah. So yeah. I don't think there are too many people who didn't really enjoy it. Hmm. They enjoyed it, Even but they think it should not be right. out there. Right. And there are, of course, a fair number of people also, I, I thought, who thought it was excessive in parts. But mm -hmm. Uh, and many of them reacted sanely, excessive in parts, not quite sure what the fuss is, and I wouldn't watch it again. But there mm. were, of course, a whole lot out there wanting all sorts of extreme action against everyone yeah. involved and all of that, which was never... Was, how did you sort of see the reactions? It's sort of worrying because you're the one person who's politically incorrect too, right? <laughs> not just me, but yeah. No, there's the thing, with, the thing with the AIB roast was that I think it was a classic case of wrong place, wrong time. Uh, and uh, the Explain media was also very helpful. If the media is also extremely helpful with, you know, putting up those clips and making such an informed opinion. If the media would have just said, listen, we don't even care about it because mm. it's really something you shouldn't be caring about. Mm. It's a joke. I mean, it's, that, it's a joke. It's one show where people pay a lot of money, a lot of money. to come and watch sure. insult comedy. Sure, but if I can uh -huh. play devil's advocate here, Neville, if I can play, if, if, if I can just sort of uh, say that for all those who got, and there were a fair number of people, and I think the media reported it because it really became a big story. I mean, all day was just going in one protest to the other, to going to court, to doing this, to stopping them, to banning them, never do it again, etc., etc. So anyway, uh, coming back to the point, I just want to say that if, if I play devil's advocate and say that people could ask, and many people did at that time, that how much is too much? If it just doesn't work for me, or if it's if you're really crossing the line when it say comes to cuss words or your language, religion, then don't I have a right to be offended? Isn't there a right to be offended too? What would you say, Neville? Sure, sure, but don't watch it. Yeah. No one's putting you a gun to your head and saying, "Watch this video now, get offended and go kill yourself." Mm. Nobody's exactly. saying that. Mm. 
everybody is saying one thing you don't like it don't watch i don't want to watch a certain movie i don't buy a ticket and watch it hmm. let's assume i go and buy a ticket and watch a movie and i don't like it i don't burn down the theater or when i'm watching the clip it clearly said on top that this is seriously offensive mm. it's for 18 year olds and above mm. it said all those things i mean how much more do you need right so i know radhika that you agree i know that you agree but again the focus is again that but why can't i be allowed to get offended and, and i can be allowed to enjoy it yeah why can't i be allowed to get you offended can. you're absolutely still here's the can. thing everyone's allowed to feel however they want to feel right there is a dis- there's a difference though between feeling offended and then going and filing an fir against deepika padukone who's sitting there and laughing i'm just giving that as an mm. example yeah, of sure. the stupid yeah. level of nonsense that this whole thing became mm. it doesn't make any sense to anybody and it makes us all look stupid like mm. it just makes the whole country look like mm. I- I- idiotic because it did become a big media story yeah, yeah. you know and we just i mean it was too it, yeah you yeah. can be offended I mean, and you know that's the other thing a lot of uh, people I said to me you know as a feminist mm. uh, don't you feel offended by yo yo honey sing songs mm. 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 and i said you know i if i really listen that closely yeah maybe i'd be like you shouldn't say that about women mm. but they're fun songs mm. he's an artist he's expressing whatever he's expressing mm. i'm dancing to that damn song where, mm. at some party mm. and at the end of the day if i don't want people offended by what i have to say then mm. i have to just take one for the team on the yo yo honey sing front for example right and let it go mm. I'm not going to go Country. and demand that he stop singing. Like Even it doesn't make stuff is sort of truly uh, unsettling. Don't you know listen I mean? to it, man. Don't listen. There's so many better. I mean, then listen to uh, whoever, like <laughs> Katy Perry or whatever you want to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> When something like this happens, do you think that people like yourself, like all of mm. you, you know, sort of are then extra conscious about what you're putting out, or or no? No, I I don't think. Like that's so, there's no sort of long-term worry about. the space and in fact it was good for elements. everybody i think when yeah. you know when this happened mm. everybody wanted to talk to comedians everybody wanted to understand okay so there's something yeah, right. like this yeah. that that mm. happens mm. so i think people became more educated and overall you know i think it was good for comedians finally although mm. yes people mm. yeah. should have and just taken offense and written an open letter they they should have stopped should right. not have written an fir but right. uh, i think You yeah. know I really loved how film people mm. including I think that censor board and what not mm. mm. had the nerve to use women as like a prop right. okay right. oh it's offensive to women they shouldn't yeah. have said this offensive to me dude your film industry has been offensive yeah. to women since it began mm. and it's still going right. strong and mm. the more offensive the the, the, the look of it mm. the better apparently mm. it's doing mm. Mm. Yeah. So <laughs> it's this very st- yeah. it's yeah. not uh, sensible right. thought processes right. that are involved here. Right. I I see what I you mean, guys I see what you guys are saying and you know I I I I can I can even understand where uh, the outrage if I may call it that is coming from but something else that this incident brought to light was that there weren't too many people from from the comedy world or from from maybe the you know performance artists mm-hmm. etc uh, who really stood up for them. Like mm-hmm. there were there were of course enough voices I'm sure yeah. you guys were among them. but i just thought that there could have been considering that we have a very active scene now there could have been a surfeit no. of support but i that can was i can answer that issue see i we didn't want I it to be an that. issue I mean, simple no yeah we didn't want it to be an issue in fact uh, people from uh, aib friends of ours because mm. we're all really a tight knit community course, to a point yeah. where we have a whatsapp group Yeah. Uh I mean we were they just said guys don't fuel don't add fuel to the fire just let it be. But then uh, that's also you know, the reason why then you heard the other voice louder and yeah. then people pe- people then then tended to believe you know the the person watching say a, a news program or you know mm-hmm. getting online then sort of heard those voices louder and there was there was the balance wasn't always there unless nobody, you, nobody knows a uh, comedian so when you have someone yeah. from the industry mm-hmm. whether it's a censor board chief or Amir Khan come out and say something Somebody who is Neville Shah? I mean, who is who is who who is this guy? Why do yeah. we have to listen to him when Amir Khan is saying something? I mean, oh, come on, it makes no sense. And no, no, he's absolutely correct. Right. 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 Let me tell you something. You're saying I wrote a scathing I remember, yeah. review yeah. of it in the yeah. time for, for yeah. my mm-hmm. column that's that yeah, big in Times of India. Yeah. Nobody cares uh, because we aren't. He's right. Like some of us are not well known, and mm. I wish the well-known comedians actually had made a bigger deal out of it. Mm. And I think some of them did. but i do agree with you i think the industry you see mm. we are part of the entertainment industry whether they want it or not mm. i wish that there had been more yeah. i mean i wish it had been more vocal mm. right 
I wish it had been more. So, work. do you think that next time that we are, I mean, and knowing us, there will be a next time. Where yeah, of course. Will, I mean, there's there's no denying that, yeah. right? I mean, no one it's doubts it. It's not if it's huh. when. Yes, yeah. it's not if it's when. So, do you think that the reactions will be different? The responses will be different? Uh, I have no idea. What yeah. I'm hoping is that we'll have educated at least a few of the people who were against the whole issue. So, at least they'll have shut up. So, maybe there'll yeah. just be fewer people on that side of the wave. Right. I don't know. Right. See, I for me, the thing is, you know, we have only, what, 35, 40 comedians mm -hmm. across six cities. Yeah. We can't even have a candle march, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, if five people yeah. go to India Gate with a candle, nobody's going to even yeah. cover it up. The so media is not lining up with six cameras, yeah. yes. Yeah. That's five true. Five people at India Gate with a candle are going to be, bhai sab kuch gir gaya, kya? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So That's right. The I, other I see communities are big. Like yeah. movie community yeah. is huge. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and yeah. there's a lot of money. It's mm. easier for them to go out and support yeah. somebody. Mm. What do we do to support? Yeah, mm. whenever somebody called us to, uh, you know, a channel called us up, mm. we supported. Mm. You know, mm. what else? Either you get on Twitter, mm. you know, put out a tweet and get trolled by 500 people, yeah, which right. doesn't make any sense. Right. I wish I'd get trolled yeah. yeah, by 500 people. <laughs> My tweets get it, just, it shows actually <laughs> that your following that you have and how many people are taking what you say seriously. No, I actually but have a friend who said that, so nobody's objected, right, to anything you've done. So I was like, hey, so then you're not well known. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you're right. Yeah, actually, I, I think that there's some truth in that, right? It's because in like that, that, there's nothing like a controversy to take you to yeah. center stage. To and, the next and level, all. man. Yeah, exactly. Well, uh, I'm taking a quick break now. Coming up after that, so many of you writing in that you want to ask them how to be in their shoes many of them of course have told us that they don't want anyone in their shoes of course they're not vacating those shoes soon but of course on a more serious note so many people wanting to be the next big thing in the world of comedy in the world of comic stars we're going to try and get them to answer and just how you can get there if at all well that's of course being the subtext so we take a quick break back with more